This introduction to the beta distribution is offered by StatLeft.com, the free digital textbook on probability, statistics, and matrix algebra. The beta distribution is a continuous univariate distribution. A beta random variable can take any real value between 0 and 1. We use the beta distribution when we don't know precisely the probability of a certain event. We treat the unknown probability as a random variable, and we assign a beta distribution to it. For example, I am interested in the probability that you will watch this video until the end. I do not know what this probability is, and I model my uncertainty by using a beta distribution. Later I will explain that there's a cool thing about the beta distribution. If I get to know that you stopped watching this video before the end, I will be able to easily adjust the parameters of the beta distribution so as to take into account what I learned from your behavior. The next time that a user starts watching this video, I will use a different beta distribution. This is because your behavior taught me something useful about the probability I want to analyze. The probability density function of a beta random variable has a pretty simple expression, displayed on this slide. It has two parameters, alpha and beta. The normalization constant involves the so-called beta function, a function of two variables that is often found in probability theory and mathematical statistics. The probability density function of a beta random variable can take many different forms, depending on the values of the two parameters alpha and beta, as shown in this figure. The two parameters alpha and beta reflect our previous experience about the event of interest. Previously, I made an example where I explained that I can use the beta distribution to model the probability that you will watch this video until the end. Suppose that 10 users watched the video before you. Six of them watched it until the end, while the other four didn't. Then, I will set the two parameters alpha and beta equal to 6 and 4 respectively. With this example in mind, it should be easy to understand and memorize the formula for the expected value of a beta random variable. The expected value is equal to alpha divided by the sum of alpha and beta. In our example, alpha equals 6, which means that 6 users watched the video until the end. Alpha plus beta equals 10 because there were 10 users in total. So, the expected value is 60%. In other words, I expect that you will watch this video until the end with 60% probability. Thank you for watching this introductory video. On StatLeft.com you can find more in-depth lectures, examples and exercises on hundreds of topics in probability, statistics, and matrix algebra.